Tributes have been paid to one of the last surviving Battle of Britain pilots who has died at the age of 101. Flight Lieutenant Maurice Moundsden helped to defend the skies above southern England from the Nazis in 1940. His death leaves only three remaining members of the pilots who became known as the Few. Our correspondent Robert Hall, who spoke to Maurice Moundsden a few years ago, has this report. They've gripped us with their stories for over 75 years. But now, one by one, the men who defended their country against overwhelming odds are passing into RAF history. Maurice Moundsden was 21 when he joined up. Less than a year after completing his training, he was in combat over Kent. Hurricanes and Spitfires roared into action. Flying hurricane fighters, he flew relentless missions against the waves of German bombers sent to soften Britain up ahead of Hitler's planned invasion. During July and early August 1940, Morris shot down seven enemy aircraft. But at the end of August, at the peak of the battle, he was forced to bail out of his burning aircraft. I'd had a shot at one of the bombers uh, and uh, I was overtaking the squadron so I turned to come back and have another go when uh, I was hit. Morris was terribly burned on his hands and legs. He suffered a great deal during his months in hospital. I was hit with a cannon shell in the gravity petrol tank behind the dashboard uh, which exploded, of course, and it blew petrol into the cockpit, which instantly caught fire. Um, so there was only one thing to do, and that was get out as fast as possible. 544 RAF pilots were killed during the Battle of Britain. Maurice Moundsden never flew in combat again, but he did serve until the end of the war. Today, Air Chief Marshal Mike Wigston, Chief of the Air Staff, said his was a remarkable story which will continue to inspire this and future generations of the RAF. His bravery and sacrifice should never be forgotten. He was one of the best, you know. He, he was always chatty, um, appreciated people, recognising that he was a Battle of Britain veteran. But on the other hand, it hadn't phased him. He went on to enjoy a full and full life to over 101 and I think he was a lovely guy. Out of the 3,000 young men who flew in 1940, just three remain. But the courage shown during that long and costly summer will outlive all of them. Robert Hall, BBC News. Maurice Moundston, who has died at the age of 101.